Hey kiddos, this week we're going to learn about cactuses and this book is written by Alan Fowler. So let's see what's inside. Most plants need good soil and plenty of water to grow. But cactuses grow in dry places, such as deserts. See how there's not a lot of green on the ground, it's mostly brown. Sand and rocks cover most deserts. Very little rain falls there. So very little rain means that there's not a lot of vegetation that can go that far without water. Cactuses grow in the deserts of southwestern United States. They are also found in Mexico, Central America, and South America. Well, that's really pretty, huh? Cactuses have long roots, you guys see that down there, that grow near the surface or top of the ground. Cactuses use their roots to drink rainwater. They keep the water inside their stem for a long time. So their stem is in the middle, that's where they keep their water, and they get their water from their roots. Cactuses come in different shapes and sizes. Some stand straight up like trees, branches grow out of their stems. So the stems are the long ones in the middle, and then their arms are the branches right there. Other cactuses have flat stems shaped like ping pong paddles. This plant is called a barrel cactus because of its shape, because it's round like a barrel. Almost all cactuses have sharp spines. The spines keep animals from eating them. Because think about it, if you went up and you tried to take a bite out of that, that would go into your mouth and that would hurt really bad. Flowers grow on some cactus plants. Ooh, those are really pretty. These flowers can be very colorful, so different colors, right? Some cactus plants grow edible fruit. Edible means you can eat them safely, so you could eat this if you wanted to. This is a prickly pear cactus. That's a silly name. Its tasty fruit is shaped like a pear with bumps. I don't know about you guys, but they sell this at the supermarket and you can eat them and they're delicious. You guys should try some. You can also eat the fruit of a saguaro. A saguaro. See, it's on it off for a saguaro. It is the tallest cactus. Some saguaros grow to be 60 feet tall and they can have more than 20 branches. Wow, 60 feet tall, that's huge. Saguaros grow in the Sonora Desert of Arizona and Northern Mexico. The saguaro blossom is Arizona state flower. That's a really pretty flower. Small cactuses make good houseplants. People like their different shapes. So you could buy the baby ones and you guys could have them in your house or maybe some of you already do. You do not have to water the cactus very often, but watch your fingers, those spines are very sharp. Where'd you know? So this is a barrel cactus right here. We got flowers, we got fruit. Prickly pear, that's the name of this cactus. It's called a prickly pear cactus. We have roots, a cigar, saguaro, spines. Okay, I want you to pause the video on this page because today I want you guys to write about the tallest cactus, which is this one, the cigar, saguaro. And I want you guys to tell me how you think it gets that tall. Do you think it needs a lot, a lot of water or just a little bit of water? Because remember, it's a cactus. It's not like a regular plant. So cactuses don't need as much water. Remember in the beginning when it said that cactuses use their roots to drink rainwater, but it doesn't rain a lot in the desert. So they don't have a lot of water. So I want you guys to think maybe he grows because he likes the sunlight. So he grows really tall. 
And you guys can talk about how many arms he has. He has a whole bunch of different branches. Remember it said he can grow up to 20 branches on his arms and 60 feet tall. So that's what I want you guys to do today, okay? So pause it on this page so you can copy this word. And you can talk about the roots and maybe their spines. And remember the flowers. All right? Okay, kiddos, have a good day, okay? Bye.